Hello, and welcome to Unit 2 of the ITIL 2011 Foundation Certification Course offered by Simply Learn. This unit includes three lessons. In this unit, you will be introduced to the first phase of the IT service management lifecycle, which is service strategy. Let us move on to the first lesson, Introduction to Service Strategy, in the next screen. This lesson helps you understand what service strategy is, its importance, and how it adds value to business. This lesson also focuses on classification of services based on the customer's requirement. Let us look at the objectives of this lesson in the next screen. After completing this lesson, you will be able to Describe the purpose, objective, scope, and value of service strategy, identify the four processes in service strategy, and explain the different types of services provided. In the next screen, we will discuss the purpose, objective, scope, and value of service strategy. The service strategy phase provides a defined solution to a business problem. Click each tab to understand the purpose, objective, scope, and value of service strategy. The purpose of the service strategy phase is to define the perspective, position, plans, and patterns that a service provider needs to be able to execute to meet an organization's business outcomes. The objective of the service strategy phase is as follows. Understand the strategies and identify the services and the customers who use them. Define how value is created and delivered. Identify opportunities to provide services and how to exploit them. Design a clear service provision model that articulates how services will be delivered and funded and to whom they will be delivered and for what purpose. Document and coordinate how service assets are used to deliver services and how to optimize their performance. Set up processes that define the strategy of the organization. The service provider should answer the following questions to define the scope of service strategy. What services should be offered and to whom? how to differentiate themselves from competing alternatives, how to create value for customers, how to capture value for stakeholders. The scope includes defining a strategy to deliver effective services to meet a customer's business outcome and defining a strategy to manage the services provided to the customers. The service strategy phase offers value in the following manner to business. Support the activities performed by the service provider to enable outcomes for customers. Enable the service provider to understand the types and levels of service that a customer requires. Enable the service provider to respond quickly and effectively to changes in the business environment. Support the creation and maintenance of a portfolio of quantified services. Facilitate functional and transparent communication between the customer and the service provider. In the next screen, we will focus on the service strategy processes. The processes in service strategy include demand management, service portfolio management, financial management, and business relationship management. Demand management is the process of understanding the demands for services. Service portfolio management refers to the complete set of services offered by a service provider. Financial management provides an understanding of opportunities associated with services in financial terms. Business relationship management ensures that the service provider understands the changing needs of the customer. These processes are explained in detail later in this unit. Next, we will focus on different types of services. Services are classified based on the customer's requirement and the service provider's capabilities. Broadly, the services are classified into core services, enabling services, and enhancing services. Core services provide the basic results that a customer requires. They signify the value that a customer wants and for which they are keen to invest. Core services anchor the value proposition for the customer and provide the basis for their continued utilization and satisfaction. Enabling services are required to deliver a core service. They serve as basic factors enabling the customer to receive the core service. Customers do not perceive an enabling service as a service in its own right. Also, the service may not be seen by the customers. 
Enhancing services are the services added to a core service to make it more appealing to the customers. They are not vital to the core service delivery and are added to it as excitement factors, which will encourage customers to use the core service often. Let us take an example to understand these services. Suppose a service provider's core service is to provide word processing service for users. To use core word processing service efficiently, certain enabling services such as download and installation of updates are required. To delight the customer, service provider can strategize to provide professional print access to publish the document. Now let us consider another example. Suppose the employees of a company can monitor the status of their benefit, that is, health insurance. The company can come up with a portal that provides front-end access to the benefits tracking service. This is an enabling service. If the company can help the employees create and manage a fitness or weight loss program, then such a facility is considered as an enhancing service. Next, we will focus on customers and users. Customers are the ones who pay for services. They negotiate and agree to service level targets with service providers. Sometimes the customers also can be users. Users are the ones who use the services on a day-to-day -day basis. Now let us do a quick recall of service strategy covered here. Let us summarize what we have learned in this lesson. The service strategy phase provides a defined solution to a business problem. Demand management, service portfolio management, financial management, and business relationship management are the processes in service strategy. Services are classified into core services, enabling services, and enhancing services. Next, we will focus on the second lesson, Service Strategy Concepts.